How is the Antichrist able to actually get people, Christians, to vote for him? Guys, we're going to talk about in this message, Donald Trump is the Antichrist. This is very serious. Believe me when I tell you the things I'm telling you in this video, I take them very seriously. It is those that worship the beast that will be cast into the lake of fire, okay? The majority of my audience is American Christians that voted for Donald Trump. So you have the opportunity to change or accuse me. But we have an identity crisis. You voted for the Antichrist, okay? Why? Why did you vote for the Antichrist? How could you be so tricked, so deceived? It's an identity crisis. You think you're a citizen of the United States. But if you are a Christian, if you are a true believer in Jesus Christ, the country you're from is not America. You're from New Jerusalem. Your citizenship is in heaven. Philippians 3.20, for our citizenship is in heaven, not on the earth. From whence also we took, look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So once you believe in Jesus Christ, once you receive the true gospel, this is your citizenship. Philippians 1.27, only let your citizen be worthy of the gospel of Christ. Okay, how can your, how can your, citizenship be worthy in the gospel of Christ as you voted for the Antichrist. But you think you're going to be raptured. You voted for the Antichrist, but you think you're going to be raptured out of here. You don't care about the end times. Okay? That's how serious this is, man. That you stand fast in one spirit and one mind, striving together of the faith of the gospel and in nothing terrified of your adversaries. Look, if you talk about the stuff I'm talking about, you're going to have adversaries, which to them is evident token of perdition, the son of perdition. But to you, salvation and that of God. For you, it is given on behalf of Christ, not only to believe, but also to suffer for his namesake. So if you believe in the true gospel, the beast will come after you. So we have this word in the Greek, which is clearly citizenship, your lifestyle, citizenship, okay? And we have more of this, Ephesians 2.12, that at that time both of Christ, you being aliens from the commonwealth, okay? So that means a foreigner to the citizenship of Israel, strangers of the covenants of promise, having no hope without God, but now in Christ Jesus, you were sometimes were far off, off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. So it is by the blood of Christ that you enter this citizenship. You enter this community. You enter this heavenly place of administrative affairs and commonwealth. This citizenship. Okay, so. Let us walk by the same rule in mind, the same thing, brother, and be fathers together of me, and mark them that walk also for the example or pattern. For our citizenship is in heaven, for where we look for the Savior, Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned after his glorious body. Look, guys, we've been saying for years, Trump is part of the beast. We've been telling you he's the lion with two wings of an eagle. We got the playlist. Guys, if this is all new to you, please go through this playlist. We're showing you this coin. We're showing you the, the point by which Trump, you know, blasphemed. I encourage you to watch this um, campaign video. Okay. His connections with the um, image of the beast and Hanukkah. What's going on with um, uh, Iran, the war with Iran that he's doing, Abaddon, and the peace deal. Now, this is where this is all headed. 
Second Thessalonians chapter two. Let man no, no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first and the man of sin revealed. So he's already been revealed, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is all leading to a temple, okay? Now, the temple is in Jerusalem. So a lot of what you guys think is not right because this is where it's going. So where this is going, it's not so much what you think about Obama or whatever. Look, the Jews never accepted Obama. We're going to prove to you in this video, Obama is not the Antichrist. The Jews never accepted him. Okay? Because the temple's going to be in Jerusalem. Okay? They've accepted Donald Trump as the Messiah. We're going to show you in this video. Now, we're here on Breaking Israel News, as you can see. And this is just today's um, articles. Israel's reaction to the Trump deal mirrors the book of Ezra right before the temple construction. Trump's peace deal is akin to the decree of King Cyrus paving the path for the third temple, says Israeli politician. And if we look closely here, we can see Israeli intelligence officers links the coronavirus. We, ha we have articles on the, um, where is it? Oh, it's uh, the, the plague. Okay, they're talking about the plague. And Israel's building of the third temple under the Alaska Mosque. These are just these articles just today. But we have told you the Donald Trump coin OK, and we have these articles. Now, some of you have pointed out and let's look at it. OK, there was an article. I'm breaking Israel news in other places. Many of you pointed this out. The secret recording reveals the head rabbi connected Donald Trump to the Messiah. Now, this is not an isolated case. There are many examples of this. Uh, comparisons of Trump and the Messiah. Trump and the Messiah are not new. Another one popped up earlier this week. Uh, a secret recording was released on Saturday, which President Trump once again compared to the Messiah. The video recording using a cell phone um, in April uh, 2018 during a fundraiser dinner, which American businessmen um, were seated with Donald Trump. OK, and now you can read this whole article. Uh, we're not going to go into all of it. We're going to point out this. Trump is is heard asking why four two four it's like the name of messiah and then overlapping verses make it difficult to understand he says the person that comes to save the whole world it is like you're the savior of the universe actually is what it is not just ukraine it's amazing all jewish people in ukraine they're praying for you so what is going on here is something called gematria. It's a system used by the Jewish scholars to align numerical value to Hebrew names and phrases. Okay? And we know in Revelation it says, count the number of his name. And when the numerical value matches the numerical value of a different name or word or phrase, it is assumed that they are in relationship between the two. So this is, um, this, this um, actually is here. And let's go to the True News excerpt of that um, discussion. Now, to explain what's going on in this clip right here, Donald Trump is receiving a gift from a rabbi in Ukraine. And in that gift and in this conversation, in this exchange, they're saying his number relates to 424, which is the Messiah. So keep in mind what's going on here. Donald Trump is receiving a gift from someone calling him the Messiah. And, of course, he... Um, is not completely understanding what's going on, but he still receives the gift. Mr. President, a little off the subject. I have a, a little something to the president, the head they rabbi of Ukraine, they want you to make and some of the rabbis in Israel. They, so they want everybody at this table. They do, but they don't do. understand the cost of it they, because they're inefficient. In the, in the, in the Hebrew religion, it's uh, the women of the Messiah to come. Wow. So the Messiah Moshe, the Messiah, they're, they're making it up in volume. 
you see where it adds up. Four twenty-four. If you take your name, Donald Trump, and then the zero there, it adds up to four twenty-four. It's a one. It's, it's something that is very, it's very unbelievable. Yeah. unbelievable. What does that mean? It's like you have the same numbers as my Messiah, you know. Meaning, it's good. Yeah. It's like not good. It's like best. It's, it's like it's like it's like miracle. Why four twenty four? It's like name of Messiah. You know? That's the that's his name, Messiah. The Messiah comes out to four twenty four. What are the numbers? You have? No, no, it's, it's not the numbers. It's exactly it's the number. Name, your name and the numbers it adds up to his name. So it's four twenty four, four twenty four in the Jewish. So it's like Messiah is the person that's come to save the whole world. So it's like you're the savior of being good. That's for your blood. It's amazing. We, we just saw that we're like, wow. <laughs> It's amazing, you know. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. <laughs> so, all, 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 all Jew people of Ukraine, they're praying of you, you know. They're, they're like, <laughs> show it to Jared. He'll explain. <laughs> it. He's going to really be a tremendous president in the United States. Tremendous. Really, equality, prosperity, and peace with law and order. He's going to stand up to all the nations of the world. He's going to side with Israel when he realizes that they cannot make peace with Israel, as I've said before, because it's theologically impossible. All the ideas I gave in the previous show and so on. That's the Tahar of America. You now, un what it, you now understand what it is, okay? Specifically, what it is. See? And that's why I believe, remember I said, that the Gamati of Donald Trump is Gamati Mashiach Ben David? You know what that means? Do you know what that means? That his name is a Gamatia? Of course, that means he's Mashiach Padov. Let's forget that. Right? That, that's out. But you don't realize something. Somebody who will turn a nation completely diametrically opposite is a Messiah. For them, yes. He, I believe, is the Mashiach of Edom. Isn't that interesting? Because, to think about it, what does the Mashiach do? Right? He turns a nation, basically that's going awry, I mean, it's, it's collapsing with the evil and the immorality, he turns it around. That's a Messiah. Especially if it's incredibly significant. Very much showing about Donald Trump. Now, let us see the table in which I found that he will be elected, but it is about well, three months before. One can see it in television that clearly comes out in very highly statistics. So this is a table. As I said, you can see it still if you put in the internet. The rabbi predictor Trump will. So we see exactly three months before. I found exactly, and advertised that Donald Trump will be the president, even though all the people said, no, no, I said yes, and I was right. Now, I was so sure about it, because I was looking for the name, one should know really what is the real table, the record table, not like people find one word here, one word here, but you need an old expression, the full description of the story. So here, what I was looking here, was to know whether he will be elected. So here you can see Trump, and red, this is Trump. And then you have the word elected, as you can see, elected, coming here, right? Will be elected, better to say, will be elected because it was before. Yeah, will be elected, you can see clearly, letter after letter, and with the best week, president, Nasi, you can see Nasi, president, come here, here. so will be elected to be a president, where? In the United States, definitely, which comes here, United States, and, and then, so amazing that you find here Messiah of God, Messiah of God, Messiah of God, why? Again, the Messiah of God, three times, yeah, maybe there are three Messiah, son of Joseph, son of Jesse, and, and Cyrus, which comes here, Cyrus, quite small, skip Cyrus. And the year, by the way, Cheshvan 577, coming here, this was the year when he was elected. Looking at these tables, I said, it's unbelievable, you know, clearly, 
very significant table, and in one book, in Deuteronomy, by the that clearly Trump will be elected, no, come, it is like Cyrus, which is really a step towards the building the temple of in Israel, so three times Messiah exactly, which is Messiah, son of Joseph, son of Jesse, and Messiah of Hashem. Interesting, here is Messiah of Hashem, God your Lord, and God your Lord is Hashem by itself, maybe this is for Cyrus. So, this is the first stage showing that the election of Donald Trump was from heaven. And this is what I brought, as I saw, the Cyrus and Trump, I'm connected. Well, guys, back to the Breaking Israel News uh, homepage here. We have this article by um, Rabbi Yehuda Glick. And what he's talking about is the, his reaction to the Trump deal mirrors the book of Ezra right before the temple construction. And guys, we're, we're showing you these things, okay? We're showing you these things because we've been on site. Trump's peace deal akin to the decree of King Cyrus. Guys, we're already showing you that the decree of King Cyrus, that happened. That was the day he marked, he, that was the day he announced moving the U.S. Embassy. But you can see here, they're calling Donald Trump Cyrus, just like we've shown you this coin, Donald Trump and Cyrus, okay, to build him, them a house. Now, for many of you, you might think, well, you know, that, that, you know, that hasn't happened, but it actually has, okay? So you can see here, we're looking at the article, um, it's talking about Cyrus, my shepherd, okay? And it's important that you understand and realize that all this that's going on, it's, it's leading to this. Guys, this coin is in my hand. This is not a photo from Google. I was there. I was there on site in many of these places. Now, when, when Donald Trump announced moving the U.S. Embassy, four days later, they dedicated the temple underground. Okay, do you understand that? So they made this coin of Cyrus, calling Donald Trump Cyrus, okay? We announced this ahead of time of the Cyrus decree. And what happened is the temple foundation is laid. That's what he said in Ezra. That's what Rabbi Huda Glick was uh, quoting. Now, the foundation of the temple is the Western Wall, okay? And it was at that Western Wall that they built the synagogue, which is part, it's the chamber of hewn stone. It's part of the third temple. Okay. That was four days after Donald Trump announced moving the U.S. Embassy. New Western Wall Tunnel Synagogue opened. We have shown you this many times. If you're not familiar, we have links. The synagogue is deep inside the complex adjacent to the area um, with the ancient Jewish temples on the Temple Mount once stood, the inner sanctum of the Holy Holies in particular. A remarkable new synagogue within the Western Wall Tunnels Complex took 12 years to build, dedicated, and opened on Monday night. That was Monday, December 10th, 2017. Following the traditional Hanukkah candlelight, it was dedicated on Hanukkah. Hanukkah is when you dedicate the temple ceremony in the western wall it was donald trump that announced the moving of the u.s embassy on december 6th december 6th was a wednesday just a few days later on monday the temple was dead here's the u.s embassy seal with the star david above the eagle donald trump is the antichrist guys for all you that voted for him you got some real soul searching to do before you judge and pass judgment on this video, I'm showing you facts, I'm showing you proof, I'm showing you evidence. Please watch the playlist. Please, we're going to have more on this. Donald Trump is the Antichrist. Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he's going to return soon. Glory to his name. But if you voted for him, God have mercy.